Yeah, so there's a casualty of, of of burning a fire. So that sucks. But y'all know how it is. A lot of y'all done had holes in your shirts before. Y'all know why back in the day, back in the day, they should pop off on you. <laughs> I see ya. All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so today, uh, I'm going over here to the Bobcat site. Uh, I've got to burn some of that stuff, man. It's a lot of debris. You know, uh, a lot of those limbs and stuff that I took over there, man. So uh, I'm gonna have to burn some of it, man. to be a pretty good bit so uh i shouldn't take me long uh, i'm just gonna get it going safe and sound uh and i'm not sure that i can even get get a fire going pretty sure i can though uh, and i won't burn all of it but i want to get some of it on its way to being burned uh you got to take care of these things you know when you uh when you're able to use the spot like i would use like i like i can use this spot over here but with that being said, there ain't no, uh, there ain't no leaving it, you know. So it's, uh, it's 12.30, and like I said yesterday, I'm not working today. Uh, this is the only thing I'm doing today. Uh, uh, I did uh, have to go over here twice today because I had to dump the debris from yesterday. You know, we didn't do that on the way in. Uh, we probably should have, but I was just, I was ready to get done, man. And uh, so, you know, not not a big deal. We just trying to, so Zach's not working today or nothing. Uh, yeah. Uh, so a lot of you guys are coming in the comments, you know, talking about, you know, Zach's not, not gonna be, you know reliable enough to have for the summer and all that i hope he is y'all i'm gonna try you know i mean uh he's supposed to be moving a little bit closer so that's gonna make a that's gonna make a big difference on availability and all so we'll just have to well yeah, play it by ear man you know uh he's got he's got you know from now until you know uh april april may to get it together so because once the summer starts i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna be able to, to, to be working like this you know uh where we're getting started late and having to go through all that man uh, and i'll have to know by you know june you know i'll have to know by the beginning of may whether it's going to work out or not uh, so i can make other arrangements if i need to right i mean i, I have to I, I got to have labor okay got to there's no uh it ain't like it's my choice i've got to have labor out here in order to help me uh with the lawns out here now this time of year not so much that's why i haven't really tried to hire anybody else because i don't really have enough work uh you know that makes sense uh, to have a guy out here you know 30 40 hours a week so and that's why i went on and got done yesterday this week so we worked three days this week i worked four zach worked three because i worked on monday too uh when he didn't when he didn't so that's really, you know, what what my goal is is just trying to get to the point of where we're cutting grass again or starting to, and then I will fix.
figure out uh, you know what to do uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about Bo and everything well Bo is uh, in a rehab uh, hospital type thing down in Griffin Georgia uh, he is a uh, Well, he's been there for, you know, almost, you know, about three and a half weeks or so. I think he's got about another week. I think a week from Monday or something like that. He's been calling me on the regular, you know. Uh, sounds good. They got him on medicine and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you never know. Uh, I'm not counting on Bo to work for me at all this summer. If he does, well, okay. If he doesn't, I'm not preparing for that. I'm hoping that Zach can get it together long enough uh, or, you know, get it together between now and uh, lawn cutting season to be able to come out here and work. But, you know, that remains to be seen. You know, uh, a lot of people uh, just don't do good when they got more money. Some people are just better off without having a lot of money. You know, uh, you know, like for Bo, for example, the less money he has, the better. You know, so the more money I pay out to these guys, the more likely they're going to screw up. That's been my, that has been my experience in dealing with uh, guys that work for me. Uh, all of them, don't matter, all of them that's ever worked for me. When they get a chunk of money, you know, uh, or regular money like that, they start acting a fool sometimes so you know and when I and I'm not talking about a couple hundred dollars a week I'm talking about if they're getting 500 bucks a week and it's regular you know 600 dollars a week and it's regular well that uh, that opens them up to a lot of vices that they wouldn't have if they didn't have that kind of money so First thing Zach needs to do is he needs to get a, his ride situation straightened out. You know, got to make smarter moves with his money when he does have money. So I'm hoping that that he'll be able to do the job. You know, if not, then I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out at that point in time. Now I'm not going to wait until June to figure it all out. I'm going to know. I will know by by the middle of April, you know, if Zach's going to be able to do it or not. I know he can. I just don't know that he, if he has the, uh, I just don't know if he has the uh, self-discipline with the money. That's what I'm worried about. So, Anyway, he's he, he been doing good once he gets to work the last uh, the last three days. So he worked Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, so and that's really about like you know like I was telling you guys earlier in the week. If I can get him to come to work three days a week of my choosing, not three days a week that he wants to. He's got to come when I need him. You know. Uh, then I can work with that. You know, as long as he coming to work I mean he's on time and stuff you know so
all right y'all so y'all see that's 20 minutes man and it's not going to take you know uh, very long for that to burn up i'll let it burn for about another 15 20 minutes while i'm here uh and then i'll push it all up nice and y'all see how i got dirt all the way around you know of course the wind is blowing a little bit more uh than normal uh but it's supposed to be we got rain i think we got some rain coming in but uh y'all see it it's all the smoke man but once it starts burning once it starts burning clean yeah and, and one thing about pine pine burns hot man uh man you know i wouldn't do this without a bobcat here this is a little bit scary y'all you know i haven't done it so many times y'all seen me do them before but uh it's a little bit scary it really is but yeah we'll let it burn for a minute and uh then i'll push it up and be on my way i'll probably be over here uh about an hour you know total and it's not bad to burn all that in an hour uh i mean you know but that's what you got to do if you're gonna if you're if you're gonna uh you know use a spot that's uh and that's why i work do work over here uh by the hour for the owner because he lets me do this uh, we got kind of an unwritten deal you know as long as i keep it burned and i do little things around here uh for you know for for that ability to do that then that's gravy uh so i had to do this i needed to do this because i'm trying to put the bobcat in the shop and uh i don't i don't know how long the bobcat's going to be in the shop right i have no idea how long the bobcat's going to be in the shop so i don't know man uh let me grab a charger here See, I got a, I got a, I got a leak, man. A pretty big leak on the bobcat. Uh, try to get y'all some batteries. I got to open this freaking little door up on the GoPro so I can plug in some power because the batteries just don't last no time. They say it's a bigger battery. I don't know about that, dude. It's nice it's, it's high and tight here y'all high and tight man Let's walk around it one time just to kind of make sure it looks like i got it uh really good so that's all that debris i've been over here about 40 minutes y'all so all that debris see i had to do this before i could put the bucket in the shop Y'all, believe it or not, I got more stuff I need to damn bring over here uh, 
next week I got a job uh, so and y'all see there's it's all dirt all the way around it's a nice hot fire not as hot as some that I've built because I'm able to walk right up on it but all this will be gone in the morning I don't really like it that the wind is blowing like it is uh, I may push up some dirt right here grab some of this dirt over here and put it right here to block the wind from blowing it uh, but the battery in the camera is fixing to go dead so let me uh let me wrap the video up but uh y'all see it man look how nice and neat this it's a good fire man that's the way now i'm not a professional fire guy but that's the way uh I've never had no problems, uh, you know, so, yeah, y'all, I would never do that right there without a bobcat or a tractor or a bucket, some kind of bucket. I guess you could do a fire like that with a dingo. I don't see why you couldn't, you know, uh, the bobcat's the most versatile tool I've ever seen. I don't even know that they can even make a tool any more versatile than a bobcat or a skid steer. You know, it ain't got to be a bobcat name brand. All right, y'all. That's a wrap on the day. Peace out.